we are in our worker book 1a we are carrying on with page 7 comparing numbers comparing numbers that means looking at the differences they're bigger or smaller we compare the numbers okay so it says match and then circle the answer to each question so the first one's an example let's look at the example together there are some birds and some worms so firstly you have to match them you have to give each bird a worm so they've drawn a line to match those two together and those two together and then there was one worm left there was no bird for that worm let's answer the questions are there more worms than birds so now you look here are there more worms than birds there's three worms and two birds. So the answer is yes. There are more worms than birds. Next, are there fewer worms than birds? Fewer means less. Okay, are there less worms than birds? Remember we said there were three worms and only two birds. So the answer is no, no. And then, is the number of worms the same as the number of birds? No, because we said two birds and three worms. Two and three is not the same. So we circled no. Now we're going to look at the next one. It's birds and nests. What are you going to start with? You're going to match them, yes. So you're going to use a pencil. And you're going to give each bird a nest. Okay, draw your lines. Then we answer the questions. Are there more birds than nests? Now we need to go and count so that we can answer these questions. Let's count the birds. One, two, three, four, five. And the nests. One, two, three, four, five. So there were five birds and five nests. Are there more birds than nests? No. Are there fewer birds than nests? Are there less? No. Is the number of birds the same as the number of nests? Five and five. Is five and five the same? Yes. Let's move on to page eight. Page eight. Again, it says match and then fill in the blanks, fill in the spaces. So here's our example of penguins and eggs. There's the word penguins. There's the word eggs. They drew a line to give each penguin an egg and there was one penguin who didn't get an egg. Okay, then we answer the questions. There are more. Which one is more? The penguins or the eggs? Yes, there are more penguins than eggs. There are fewer, less. Which one is less? The eggs. There are fewer eggs than penguins. Okay, now you have to write in the words. Okay, I'm going to help you with a little bit, but the rest you need to do by yourself. Okay, here's the bananas. There's the word bananas, because you're going to need to spell that. There's the monkeys, and there's the word monkeys. Now, before we go on, you count them. Well, you count them as well, but you also match. Okay, so we give each monkey a banana. Okay, then you can see that that banana didn't get a monkey. There was no monkey to eat that banana. Now you're going to answer the questions. There are more, mm. now you need to go and have a look. Were there more bananas or were there more monkeys? You write it in there. Okay, then the other one. There are fewer, mm, then mm. Which one was fewer, the monkeys or the bananas? You're going to write here. And then the other one here. Page 9. It says count, circle the groups that show the same number. 
So, our example, there were four of these, there were three of these, there were two of these, and there were four of these. So they circled the two that were the same, because four and four is the same. So let's go to the flowers. You need to count each of them. So what you could do is you can count and write the number down so that you could see. Now look at your numbers. See which two were the same number and you circle those two. Just like they circle at the top, you circle each one in its own circle. We move on. Again, exactly the same. You count each group, write your number next to it. And then you will see which two numbers are the same. And you circle those two. Page 10. Which two groups have the same number of objects? Join them to a block. Okay, then write the number in each block. So they've done the first one for us. Here was three pencils and here was three erasers. They made the two lines go together to the same block and they wrote a three in the block. The same. Because 3 and 3 is the same, they got to go together and they wrote to 3. Now if you go down a bit you'll see there's an empty block. So count the rest, see which two are the same. You draw the lines to this block and you write the number in this block of how many there were in that box. And there's a last one. So again, count the remaining two, make sure they're the same number and then write the number in the box. Remember use a ruler to make a nice straight line. We move on to page 11. Count and write the number. Then answer each question by coloring the correct box. So there's two things we need to do here. We look at the picture. It's a picture of a kitchen. They've given us an example. Okay, which is more was the question. So there was a picture of pots. You had to go look how many pots there were. There's the pots. One, two, three, four. And they wrote a four. Then you had to go and look how many pairs there were. There were six pairs. Then the question was which is more? So you had to color in between which is more. Was four more or was six more? Yes, six was more so they colored it in. Look if it's gray. The pears were more than the pots. Now the next one. You need to go and count the cups. Write the number of cups there. Count the teapots. Write the number of teapots there. Now look at your two numbers, look at this number and this number, which one is more? You're going to color in, if the cups were more you color in here, if the teapots are more you color in here. And then the bottom, the bottom wants you to do which is less, which is fewer, fewer meaning less, smaller, the smaller number. So find the ladles ladle is this kind of spoon. Write it over there. Count how many muffins there are. Write it over there. And then look between the two. Which one was less? Which one had the smaller number? Was there less muffins or less ladles? You color in the box. And the last one, gloves. Count how many gloves you have. Count how many plates you have. And then again, look between the two numbers and color in the one that has fewer, fewer, it's less. Page 11. Let's go over. Color the correct signs. 
which is greater. So between these two, greater. Greater means more, bigger. Which is the bigger number? So five or eight. Color in the one that is bigger. Okay, and then the next one says which is smaller. So this time you look at these two numbers and you color in the one that's smaller. So between 10 and 9, color in the number that is smaller. Fill in the blanks. There's a 2 and there's a 0. Now we have to fill in answers over here and over here. I'm going to read for you and you decide which number out of these two numbers would go in this space. Okay. What is greater than what? So between these two, choose the biggest number. Write it first because it's greater, it's bigger. And then choose the smallest number to go here. Then we move to the next one. 9 and 3. Now again, you're going to choose between 9 and 3. Listen to the sentence. What is smaller than what? So now you're going to choose the smallest one to write first and the biggest one to write second because that is smaller than that. Good. Fill in the blank with more or fewer. So you need to use these two words. You're going to use the word more and you're going to use the word fewer. Remember more means big, fewer means less, small. There are some birds, some dogs and some cats. Now they're telling us a few things. We need to listen and then we can answer our own question. There are fewer birds than dogs. So they didn't tell us how many there were. They just told us they have these three animals. There are fewer birds than dogs. So the number of birds is smaller than the number of dogs. There are more birds than cats. More birds than cats. Okay. Now you need to work out there are mm, cats than dogs. Is it more or fewer cats than dogs? It's a tricky one, so I think we should use our whiteboard to work it out or a piece of paper. What I've written down, this is what we know. There are less birds than dogs and there are more birds than cats. So what would the order be here? Are the dogs going to be the most? Out of the three or the least out of the three? Dogs are the most. Then birds. Okay, this is a tricky one. Usually we do it together in class. And then cats. This is what I have. Okay, this is the order. It's cats, birds, dogs. Because the first sentence says there are less birds than dogs. So less birds than dogs. But then the next one says there are more birds than cats. So that's how I know the order. The birds are less than the dogs, so the dogs must be more. But there are more birds than cats, so the cats must be less. So this is the order. You can give them any numbers, we don't know, but maybe there's two cats, three birds, and four dogs. That could be how many there are. The cats have the smallest number, the birds have the middle number, and the dogs have the biggest number. There's the most dogs. So let's go back to this. It said there are mm, cats then dogs. So let's look at our cats and our dogs. Cats, dogs. Are there less cats than dogs or more cats than dogs? Okay, then you're going to write your answer in. Good. We ended off with a nice tricky one. I hope it got you thinking. That's all for today.